Romanian designer Ioana Celacu at a fitting for her debut fashion show in Berlin. Celacu calls her collection Hunters, and its 25 designs reflect the interaction between hunter and prey. The cornerstone of this collection was laid a year ago when Celacu won the Designer for Tomorrow prize at Berlin Fashion Week. Actually, it's one year and five days. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, I remember, of course, it was my first big fitting and it was hectic because we kept sw uh, switching models. And, I mean, it's the same now, but it's more relaxed because I already have the experience, so I'm more relaxed. One year ago, Chilaku was one of five finalists for the Designer for Tomorrow Award, chosen from a pool of 350 applicants. British fashion designer Stella McCartney was the competition's patron. And in the end, McCartney and the panel of fashion experts chose Cholaku and her Paradox collection as the winner. She just really sort of had a great point of view and a lovely silhouette, quite architectural, quite statement, but at the same time quite wearable. And I think that's kind of what I'm looking for in these kind of things. Somebody that's really new in the way that they approach design, but also at the same time, somebody that you, you feel you want to wear. The award provided Shilaku with financial support and assistance in establishing her own label. She's now opened her own studio in the Romanian capital, Bucharest. Chalaku accompanied McCartney and her team when they put on a show at Paris Fashion Week. And she visited the British designer at her studio in London. It wasn't any more advices regarding design, which she knows best, because I think that she, she thinks that I'm prepared already. So, yeah, it was more of a industry input, you know, how business works. Um, you know, that's why I visited her studio, because I opened my studio, so, you know, I wanted to know what's the, um, you know, the level of how many people are they, uh, you know, how they work, how do they manage everything. So that was more important. <laughs> Designer for Tomorrow winners also get the chance to stage their own show at Berlin Fashion Week. The models, the PR, the help backstage, they've all been organized for Ioana Chalaku. The young designer hopes to take the fashion world by storm from her headquarters in Bucharest. She plans to produce her collection in Romania as well. It's her way of supporting her country's economy and ensuring good quality. This moment in time is slow compared to what's coming next, meaning that things are getting quicker and more global. More markets are opening up. So I think this point of view is the right one. These days designers can stay where they are and still communicate with the whole world. Maybe at some stage we'll no longer need venues like Fashion Week, but find completely different platforms. So people should start off where they feel most comfortable. European clothing store chain Peak and Kloppenberg Dusseldorf has been sponsoring the Designer for Tomorrow competition since 2009. The patron of this year's competition is the American designer Tommy Hilfiger. Chilaku's show kicks off the finale. And there's still time for her to enjoy the attention and support that's on offer before she has to stand on her own two feet. There has been a lot of emotions for me. I, I never had so, so many emotions in my life because of the you know, winning and the preparations before and now you know, again with the show, again the same feelings. But I was grown up really good so now I have the power to be on my own, I guess. <laughs> After the show, Ioana Chilaku is ready to launch her career as an independent designer. She's no longer a designer for tomorrow. She's creating fashions for today.